right, boys, we are back, and it's time to continue our playoff run with the Tampa Bay Lightning. First round, we got by the Philadelphia Flyers in six games. It didn't go to seven. They still did get us to six. It could have gone the other way, but we came through, all right? We could actually score goals. I was worried that we wouldn't be able to score goals against their team. They had a lot of good defensive players, but we got by the uh, Philadelphia Flyers in the first round, so that's good. At least we're not going to go on a really bad note getting uh, beaten the first round, you know, in our last year. So we got round two here, and it's against the Carolina Hurricanes. Now remember, this is the old this is the old roster update, so they don't have guys like Alexander Semin, Jordan Stahl, but they do still have guys like uh, Cam Ward. I think he's probably going to be like 95 overall now. Um... Yeah, we faced these guys in the playoffs before. Yeah, they do have some young rookies who have come up now. Look at this first line. Uh, Hannah Kynan, 87 sniper. I mean, I, I, I don't think he's an actual NHL player. He might be a real young guy, but um, probably a really good offensive category. So that goes well with Eric Stahl and Jeff Skinner, who have great offensive categories. We know about that. Second line, same thing. Look at the two wingers, Gortz and Bowman. Uh, Bowman, I think, is real. 84 sniper. I've seen that name before, but Gortz, I think, is a drafted name. 87 sniper. So a lot of snipers on this team. And then uh, Sutter, the newest Pittsburgh Penguin, he's there in the middle there, all right? So he's a second line center. Not a bad second line, I guess. A, a lot of offensively minded players, though. Third line, uh, Pirnez, uh, Sergeyev, and Calder. Uh, I guess you got your center and your right wing who aren't bad, but again, more offensively minded pl uh, players. Two snipers and a playmaker. So far, everyone's a sniper or a playmaker except for Sutter, the two-way forward. And the fourth line, Stevens, Falkenheim, or Falkenheim, Falkenham, and uh, Flood. Uh, two two-way forwards and a sniper. So a lot of their players who are going to get a lot of the ice time are offensively minded. So... They got some good offensive players, but I'm just saying we might be able to score some goals here, unless Cam Ward just steals the show. Defensively, uh, Malakoff, 83, two-way defenseman. Pitkinen, 84, offensive defenseman. Markov, 83, defensive defenseman. That's not, uh, is that Andre Markov? No, it's not. It's another A Markov. Uh, Andre Markov's an offensive defenseman for sure. Uh, S. Lalonde, 83, offensive defenseman. Uh, Le Perrier, tough guy. And Grant, 82, two-way defenseman. So again, uh, even their defensive core, they have a few offensive guys in there. All right, so their team is definitely offensively minded. They may be able to score some goals on us, but I don't think they're going to be able to keep us off the board unless, yeah, Cam Ward, okay, he's not 95 overall. Maybe he's getting worse now. I could have sworn that uh, in an earlier season that he was like at least 94. I guess we're to year 10. How old is Cam Ward now going into next year? I don't know. He's like 27, 28, something like that. So, yeah, if we're 10 years in, I'm sure he's getting a little bit worse. But still, 92 overall, he can get it done, all right? So we know we're up against. I think we're going to be able to score goals. This might be a high goal scoring series, all right? Unless Sub-Zero can turn it around. That last series against Philadelphia, Sub-Zero, I mean, he played good enough to get us the series, but he didn't He didn't steal us any games, anything like that, all right? So, uh, Malcolm, there's plenty of room for you to come back here and uh, show what kind of goal you truly are. You've done it before in the playoffs. That magical, like, 12-0 run that you went on before you got injured, and then you came back and finished it. I forget which year that was. Year 8, I think. So I know you have it in you, all right? So here we go. Uh, game one in Tampa Bay. First period. All right, 1-1. One, one. Steven Stamko is getting goals for us. That's good. And Eric Stahl. So two captains stepping it up. Second period. 1-1. Uh, one, one. All right, going into the third. Come on, somebody step it up for Sub-Zero here. He's playing good so far. He's playing good so far. Power play? Nope. Penalty kill? Good job, boys. Come on, somebody, anybody going to step it up? Who's going to be our hero this game? Oh, we're going into overtime. All right, good job, Sub-Zero. Can't really ask for more. They haven't had a lot of shots. There you go. The Nuge, baby. Took 42 shots. Well, they had 28. It was good. There's an, exact, uh, an example of what I was exactly talking about with Sub-Zero. That's a game where he stole it for us. Absolutely. Overtime, he only allowed one goal. Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah. Sub-Zero is a nice goalie, man, for sure. But, man, if only we uh, were on, like, a 15 or 20-year GM, I, I, I know a lot of people would, wouldn't want to watch that, but I know for a fact the exact same situation that happened with uh, Sub-Zero and Bernie Mac would happen with Daig and Sub-Zero. All right, just wait two or three more years until, uh, what's his name, Daig is, like, an 88, 89 overall with B potentials. Everyone would be like, oh, Sub-Zero, trade him away, trade him away, the new blood. The new blood. <laughs> We've had our fair share of good goalies. Good young, like, uh, not drafted goalies, because I guess we didn't draft Bernier. But uh, good young goalies that have started on our team and, and progressed to, like, 90 overall. It's been nice on a 10-year GM. All right, I'm getting sidetracked. Game two. We won game one, game two. Here we go. First period. 0-0. Zero, zero. All right, there we go. Malcolm Subban star. I said it was going to be a high-scoring series. I guess not. Second period. All right, never mind. Maybe it's got a high-scoring series for us. Ilyuk, four-blind uh, grinder. Way to go, buddy. Uh, Braden Shen and Len Little, way to go. 
All right, third period. I mean, three goal lead for Subban in the third period. That should be lights out. I mean, that's past the routine. Four goals, yeah, it's over. Game two's ours. Good job, boys. We didn't lose a game on the road. All right, don't don't go embarrassing them now. You don't want to piss them off. All right, just beat them and then just uh, wear them down. Like play tight hockey, body check everyone, make them hurt. So even when they go home two games or two days later, they're not going to want to play you guys in game three. All right, don't score goals on them. You're just going to give them an adrenaline rush for the next game for sure. Malcolm Subban, there you go, buddy. Way to go. Shutouts. I don't want to say anything, but he gets the shutout. I didn't even need the five goals. Jeez. So Subban, after that uh, shaky first series, he's definitely got off to the right start in this series. All right, way to go. Uh, yep, I'm not even going to say anything. Not going to change anything. We're rolling along here, so let's, let's keep it going. First period, game three. Ooh, you see what I mean? You see what I mean. We pissed them off by scoring five goals. We should have scored three, maybe four, four, and then just left it at four. My goodness gracious. Gortz, Bowman, and Eric Stahl. We got one back from Bisson, so that was good. 30 seconds left in the first. At least it's an attainable tie now. If we can get, uh, make it 3-2 before the uh, beginning of the third. All right, boys? Second period. All right, oh, never mind. Tie it up. Len Little and Ekblad. Way to go. Got two defensive goals this game. Way to go, boys. All right, yeah, exactly. Sub-Zero won you guys games one and two. Now you guys got to score some goals for them. All right, we didn't need all those goals last game. We need some goals this game. Come on, boys. We're going to OT again. Power play for them. Good job. Going OT. Yep, overtime once again. Who's going to be the hero this game? Man, we got a lot of shots on the net this time. Damn, Cam Ward's having a really good game. Cam Ward on front of his home ice fans. This might be Cam's game. I got to give it to him. Jeez. 55, yep, I had to, it had to be Cam Ward. Oh, man, Subban had a good game as well at the end of the day. He led in some early goals, but it evened out towards the end after he played four periods, 40 shots, four goals. That's pretty good still, but damn, uh, Cam Ward, 55 shots on the net, only three goals. That's a really good game for a goalie, especially taking it into the second overtime, man, a shutout in the uh, first overtime, hell yeah. All right, so we knew they were going to come back hard. Uh, I wasn't expecting a sweep of these guys. There's the game where they get goals. You know, I said it before that, uh, did, wait, did my, did Jacobson start that game for me? What? Who's that pair Jacobson guy? He's my goalie, isn't, but no, but what? Didn't Subban, st oh my God, did they put uh, Jacobson, in, did Subban get injured or something? Hang on a sec. Yeah, Jacobson's my backup, right? Did he just get the game? Did they pull, like, Subban in overtime? Did he get, like, dehydrated in overtime or something? Yeah, Jacobson got the start. What the hell? Oh, uh, hang on. Playoff stats. He's played two games already. 115 minutes. Where do those games come from? All right, whatever. It said Subban had, um... Oh, I don't even know. Whatever. I guess they pulled, um... I guess they pulled Subban after three goals? I get a pull Subban after three goals. That's not even that much. Whatever. Um, okay, so what's this? Yeah, it's 2-1 for us. Okay, okay, whatever. I'm getting sidetracked once again. That's just weird, though. We've had, we've seen a few weird goalie uh, things happen uh, in the playoffs. I, I don't know. I think the coach sometimes takes over if an injury, but he wasn't injured. Whatever. Maybe yeah, because they scored three goals nice and early, so that's why they pulled him. I could see that happening. All right, so we got game four. We're up 2-1. First period. Oh, we already got a goal, Hendry. Way to go, buddy. First period. All right, they tied it up. Hannah Kynan, yep. All right, here we go. Second period. All right, tied 2-2. Hannah Kynan again. He's got two. Maybe going for that hat trick. Lofthouse got one for us. Come on, third period. Sub-Zero, you got to step it up for us here, all right? You got to step it up for us. And we got to get another goal for sure. Penalty kill. Good job, boys. Another penalty kill. Good job. Oh, it wasn't a shorty. I thought it was a shorty for Braden Shen. It just expired. Oh, there's the game. Braden Shen and the Nuge get two in the third. Yep. And the Tampa Bay Lightning... Take the series 3-1. to one. This is looking really good now, boys. See how many shots a game we're getting? 48 shots that game in three periods. We are, uh, see what I mean? They have a full team full of offensively-minded players. We're getting lots lots of shots, lots of goals on these guys. All right, we're, we're not having any trouble scoring against these guys. First game we did, uh, but Subban won that. But then five goals, three goals, four goals. So last three games, we've been able to score some goals. So again, if uh, Sub-Zero decides to have a good game, it looks like we're going to win. It's like that. It's that kind of series for us, right? Uh, let's see if any injuries happen. No, we're good. All right, let's just continue here. We're up 3-1. to one. Boys, you know what to do. Home ice. Let's just end this so we have some rest before the Eastern Conference Finals. That's a, a full-on successful year if we get back to the Eastern Conference Finals. Absolutely. All right. First period of Game 5. Yeah, Game 5. 
And we score two goals, Steven Stamkos. He's been getting points this playoff run. He has. I'm happy with his uh, performance. And Ekblad as well. That's good. That's a big two goals. Keep it to a two-goal lead in the second period, boys. Second period. Oh, okay. We did it. We did it. Calder got one, but then Loftos put it back to a two-goal lead. And we got the routine going into the third period. Sub-Zero, you know what to do. Oh, it doesn't matter, Nat. Steven Stamkos ices the game. He uh, gets two goals in an elimination game. Way to go, Steven Stamkos. That's what our captain does for us. He's a veteran now, man. He's like he's he's a veteran. He doesn't fall for any of that young crap anymore, you know? He's actually a, 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 a playoff performer now. And he better be with 99s everywhere in the offensive category. There's no excuse. Way to go, Stammer. All right, so we outed the Carolina Hurricanes uh, fairly easy. Five games. Lofthouse had a four-point night. Stamkos had a three-point night. And Sub-Zero, one goal against. Way to go. So the, our key players came to play in an elimination game. Didn't let them get back into it whatsoever. All right. Fenske's been injured for the next four weeks. God, that's our that's our that's that's one of our first-line defensemen. Yeah, we're going to, oh, that's not a good, that's not a good injury. I don't like that injury. Um, all right, so we're gonna have to bring somebody. In. Well, do we already have people who we can put in place? Because I've already had to deal with injuries. Uh, yeah, Tang Grady. Yeah, he was our best, our next best guy. Um, I'm gonna bring Pody up. Actually, I'm gonna bring up Bisson up to the first line. Just get that defensive defenseman up there. Tang Grady can go on the last. Yep. Um, who can I put in there? I gotta put uh, Webb, Ekblad, Hedman, and Pody. No, Bisson can go in there. Yeah. Yeah, but no, 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 power play. No, that's the power play. I put uh, Pody in on the power play. Yeah, and then Bison on the uh, penalty kill. Oh, Bison's already on the penalty kill. Then Webb on the penalty kill. There you go. And there you go. All right, so that's a big injury. Luke Fenske was a big player for us. I mean, I you, you think of the name Luke Fenske, it's like, oh yeah, he's not he's nothing special. But that's what I mean. He's a silent. He's been a silent wild card for us. He's progressed into like an 89 overall first line defenseman for us, who had 40 something points this year. You know, he's solid. He's solid. 99 overall for defensive awareness. Not 99 overall. 99 defensive awareness. So yeah, that's a big loss to us. And he's out for four weeks. So he's definitely gonna miss. Uh, probably going to miss next round, maybe even cut into the finals if we get there, right? So that's a big loss for us. So let's simulate up here. Let's see who we got in the next round, the Eastern Conference Finals. All right, so once again, we're back to the Eastern Conference Finals. Once again, another um, thing I wish they improved in NHL 13. You know, when I go to GM Tracker and you can see, I mean, the Montreal Canadiens in the Eastern Conference Finals. Sacre bleu. But you know what? I go to uh, GM Tracker. And I check out um, our stats here. One thing I wish they showed if you won the President's Trophy, won your division. They should show that for each year, right? They should show, yeah, what round you went out in the playoffs. Um, oh, and there's something else. Oh, man, there's something else. I just forgot about it. Ah, damn, there's something I forgot. But that's what I mean. I wish there was, looking back, when you look back at 10 years, you forget about a lot of the things you did. I wish they would make that a lot more in-depth. A lot more in-depth. Um, just because, man. Just because. Like, the awards, you know how they only go back four years? The stats of the players only go back four years? I would love to look back and just figure out everything from our team. But sadly, that's just one of the things I wish they fixed in NHL 13. But anyways, we got the Montreal Canadiens in the Eastern Conference Finals. I don't think we faced these guys in the playoffs this late. I'm sure we faced them in the playoffs at one point, but this late is the first time I've ever faced them in the Conference Finals. So that's interesting. Um, let's check out the... Uh, player stats, where is it, player stats of the playoffs, let's see who's producing for us, I'm pretty sure Stamkos and our first line in general is having a really good playoff run, they might even be uh, point of game players, uh, let's check that out, forwards, points, uh, Lofthouse, yeah, Lofthouse has 16 points in 11 games, Stamkos 11 in 11, 5 goals, 6 assists, so that's great, Sagan 10, Len Little 9, uh, the Nuge 7, so everyone's really stepping up, Granny Smith, not really. One assist in 11 games. Ooh. Jump on the Granny Smith bandwagon again, boys. Well, that's for the next GM to uh, uh, worry about. Remember, he's going to be 30, and he's going to want like six or seven mil. So it, there is a time to trade Granny Smith, but I'm not going to have to deal with it. Uh, defenseman, Ekblad, and Webb have been our uh, stars so far. Had been only two points, but that's fine. And then, of course, Sub-Zero. He's been playing great. 1.75 goals against average. Uh, he's 8-2. and two. And a save percentage of .929. So he definitely stepped it up in that second series. And uh, won us a few games there. Played like the goalie that we need him to be. Alright, so there you go. Let's check out the uh, playoff tree. Let's see what's going on in the Western Conference. 
All right, so the West, wow, the St. Louis Blues were outed by the seven-seeded Minnesota Wild. So we have home ice advantage no matter who we play now. Very interesting. That was the uh, our one rival that we had to look out for, the 120-point St. Louis Blues, out by the seven-seeded uh, Minnesota Wild. Wow, Parise and Suter. Well, not yet, but you know what I mean. And then the Colorado Avalanche dealt with the Dallas Stars. So 5-7 and seven in the West. And one and five in the East. And Montreal beat the Ottawa Senators, all right? So there's your final four, boys. We got the Montreal Canadiens, and then see if we can get back into the final. This is our last year, so I expect the best from our best players.